To the CDC, one in 59 children in the U.S. are diagnosed with some form of autism. This condition isn't one people can grow out of, and oftentimes adults living with it are forgotten about. But one Tennessee Valley woman is making sure she changes that. Our Kayla Carlisle joins us now. Kayla, what did you find out? Well, Mike, oftentimes when people hear that you have autism, they get this preconceived notion of how you already live your daily life. For Haley Foshi, she's lived with it for over 40 years now, and she says she wants to help those who are misunderstood by giving them a place to go. Holly Foshi was 42 years old when she was officially diagnosed with autism. I was not an unsuccessful normal person. I was an extremely successful autistic person. She says living with it her whole life was, quote, a horror story. Not knowing why she was a little different from everyone else made fitting in much harder. I did everything I could to be exactly like them and to mock them so that I could blend in. And that's how I've gotten so far without people really noticing that I'm too much different than them. She even took that skill and used it to help her get jobs. Where I can script a job interview and I've written down what works and what doesn't. Because if you disclose that you're autistic in a job interview, you're not going to get hired because people don't understand it. They have the wrong impression of what autism is. Now Foshi is wanting to help those just like her. She's scheduling peer meetings with other adults who deal with the same struggles she does. She says sometimes it's nice just to be near others like you. There are no resources for us. People focus so much on children or the parents of autistic children. When the resources go away, you, the need still doesn't. It's a place where we can be ourselves and nobody is going to tell you to stop acting weird or looking weird and you can just finally relax and be yourself. Now that first meeting will be next Friday, February 15th from 6 to 8 at Publix on Whitesburg Drive. Putting the Valley first, I'm Kayla Carlisle, WZDX News.